A very welcome to you. We are here with 27th of June's Godly Blessing. Supreme Father here says that may you become like an angel. An angel is someone who is above the worldly affairs. An angel is someone who doesn't get into deeply into worldly affairs, whether it's five elements, whether it's your earth, land, water, air, anything. You don't get so deep into it and you don't get morose or sad into it. You are doing godly work and God says at the right time, right things will happen to you and I'll take care of the worldly things you take care of, my spiritual things, as simple as that. So here also God says, may you be an angel residing in the sky and constantly stay in the highest stage by considering yourself to be an incarnation that has incarnated. So an angel is in the sky looking at the earth from top down as compared to human beings who are so heavy on earth, they are all involved into my and mine things and people and they are so heavy over here that they are not able to fly up. So God says, may you be an angel residing in the sky and constantly stay in the highest stage by considering yourself to be an incarnation that has incarnated just as the Father has incarnated in the same way. So God Father has come down on earth and he's come from top to down on earth to give us this knowledge and to make us soul conscious and take us back home because he is a soul without a body, only he can give us this knowledge. You elevated souls have come down from up above in order to give God's message. So we also have to think that we were first in the body, stuck in the body. God took us out of the body through meditation and not completely out obviously, but he made our vision go beyond the earth into the soul world. And from there he's saying that now again you have come down by taking all God's power, love, happiness, joy and everything. And now you do my work spreading all that and then I'll take care of your work. So God says you are residents of the subtle region and the incorporeal world. You cannot place the feet of your intellects in the dust or on the ground of body consciousness. That means we cannot come into my and me and get into the ego and jealousy and hatred and all those things on this earth. We have to be above that. We have to be thinking beyond. Our vision should be so big that these small things look smaller so our vision should be all about getting into service helping other souls connect to god and god says i'll take care of your work don't worry about that this is why the feet of angels are always shown to be above the ground so all of you reside in the sky and remain stable in the highest stage have this awareness and continue to fly in the flying stage. So we remain high, we remain beyond all those things. Our vision, our thoughts, our plans are bigger than what even the world can think. Worldly eyes will be looking through these eyes, but we'll be looking in our visions as something which is very big, which is beyond these small, small matters. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to go beyond these matters. How do we do that is what we learn by Okamaris. I'm sure this.